What is the difference between a named storm deductible and a windstorm deductible? The difference between a windstorm deductible and a named storm deductible is basically when it applies. Windstorm is basically the larger or more broad version of it. Basically, any kind of event that could be considered a wind event, a tornado, large unnamed a tropical disturbance, or anything of that nature, would be windstorm and would trigger the windstorm deductible, which is usually a percentage. Named storm deductible kind of narrows the scope and it says, hey, if there's a weather service that gives this storm a name, a designation, then that deductible would apply. So think in Florida, like National Hurricane Center, you know, putting a, a tropical storm, giving it a name, or a hurricane, giving it a name. That is when the windstorm deductible, uh, the name storm deductible would apply. But if it was just a tornado with no designation from the National Hurricane Center, then the all other perils would apply. So that's why named storm deductibles are better. They're harder to get, not as many carriers are willing to offer it, but it is a better option for you because you would only be paying for uh, some situations, your regular deductible, the all other perils deductible, which could be 2,500 or 5,000 versus that percentage deductible. Though keep in mind that if you were along the coast and you were in Florida, Texas, the Carolinas, you're most likely going to be looking at a windstorm deductible.